Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm very excited about, mostly because I've been waiting for quite a while to compile all of these items and put them together in a single video. If you've read the title of the video, which you probably have because you've clicked on it, it's a huge makeup and beauty haul today. So I have some accessories, some beauty items, some makeup, some skincare, some nail polishes, so on and so forth. These are, um, a few of them are from Olive Young. Some of them are from the specific websites and the rest are from Sephora. Um, and I'll talk you through the products, how I got them as I go through the video. So let's get started. First set of items I want to get started off is skincare. So for skincare, I have one, two, three, and four items. All right, the first item is this Gizu Honey Infused Lip Oil. Uh, this is from Sephora USA, since I don't think we get Gizu in Sephora India as of now. So this is something that I've tried before, so this is just a refill product for me. I really like the smell of it, I like the feel of it. And also I just like Gizu as a brand because their hair care line is very good. I'm a fan. It, um, I think hair care is also like very personal, like every hair reacts differently to different brands. And I really react well to Gizu. It gives my hair a lot of shine. So it's very tempted to buy their lip oil because I like the fragrance that those products have. Like I like their signature fragrance. And I'm really enjoying this one. This is my second bottle of the honey infused lip oil. It's from Sephora USA. Um, uh, thanks to the friends who traveled from there and helped me get all these items. So all the USA items on this in this video are from friends and family who traveled from the US and brought stuff for me. So the first the skincare is this. All right. Now let's move to the next one. This is the Vanilla Clinic Zero. Uh, cleaning balm and this is the original one there's i'm like it's not the any other variants this is the original one this is from olive young so and the other two products that are in this in this section are also from olive young and they are from iu group orders who recently had a go for this so um these are all from her so this is a two set of the vanilla clean it zero balm i like just received these so i've not even opened these so you get this couple of those trays that you can put in you get two of those bombs like so and I'm gonna put these back in uh, the only other cleansing balm I've tried here is the dew one I think it's dew D apostrophe Y O U and I thought it was like a bit pricey for how much a product you get in the tube so i mean it's a decent enough balm it, it melts up the makeup but i will swear by the vanilla one forever so yeah all right so the next one is this uh, medipeel collagen cleanser um so this is something that i've been wanting to try for some time again this is also from olive young courtesy of the wonderful IU group orders so I mean, this is something that I've been wanting to try for some time. It's been very highly rated. And also, you get a lot of product, is what people told me in this cleanser. And it like really gets rid of your, as you can see, the before and after they've mentioned here. Like it really unplugs your pores and gets rid of your blackheads and stuff. So here you go. This is what you get. Look at the amount of product. Like it's so heavy. Uh, I don't know, think they've mentioned like how much product is actually in this. I'm sure it's somewhere. Yeah, you get 300 ml of product, but it feels so heavy and nice. And also you get this deep cleansing pad with it. I don't know if I'm actually used this. It's also from Medipeel. So yeah, I'm very excited to try it. I will update you guys maybe on Instagram about how 
I like it. But yeah, I'm very excited to try these products. Maybe I'll do like a follow up video. I mean, at least for the skincare and how I'm liking everything new that I bought. All right. So the final product in this skincare section is this. It's the Many Heal Tea Tree Trouble Pad. So uh, for some time, like uh, I've had acne for a while, but I have been noticing that I'm breaking out a lot more these days. And also this is a product that has been talked about quite a bit in the world of Korean skincare. So when I saw the Olive Young Go happening, and also saw that you get a double set in this, I was very excited. So I'll, I'll get a, out one box and show you guys. This is what it looks like. So you have another refill box on the inside, as you can see. You get another one right here. Um, all right, this is what the box looks like. It's pretty hefty, nice packaging. Um, it opens up like so. You use the tweezers to pull out the pads and use them. I'm not gonna open it right now. I just wanna open and show you guys the box. Um, so yeah, I think um, pricing-wise, they were all nominally priced. They were, all of these were, this was the cheapest one, around 1,200-ish. Um, and these were all way cheaper than that because each product was maybe like uh, uh, 600, 700, I would say. So this is my skincare section. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm, these two are like basically refills of stuff that I've used before and these two are new. So I'm very excited to try everything. And that's it for skincare. Let's move on. All right. So the next section, as you can see, is hair care and fragrances. Uh, this is why the reason why I put these two together because there's not much at all to talk about in the section. It's really tiny. So I'll get started off with the two. With all of these products are from Sephora. All of them. All four of them. This is a sample I got. I mean, I've already tried this fragrance. It's from the Chanel Gabrielle fragrance. Uh, and I think it smells really nice. It's very like vanilla cinnamon is what I would call it. So I kind of like those notes. So I'm a fan of this perfume. If I get a chance, I'll try and get the full size sometime. Uh, but definitely not in India because it's so expensive here. All right, so this is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. This is Glossier Eau de Perfume. Uh, this is just a roll-on that I bought for myself. All of these, again, are from Sephora USA. Um, this is one of my most favorite scents ever. I don't know what notes and all are in it, but the Glossier perfume is just one of my favorite, all-time favorite scents. So I have had the full size of it. Uh, I've had the solid perfume of it, and now I have the roll-on of it. <laughs> so that's the, that's that. And these two, again, as, as I told you before, I love Giza products. So this is a hair fragrance. Again, I'm gonna see if I can open it for you guys. Um, this is a product that I kind of splurged a bit. It's like not something that I need, but it's something that I wanted. <laughs> um, this is a hair fragrance. Oops, my bad. There we go. Nice little bottle, 50 ml, cute fragrance. It smells great. I, as I said before, I really like the signature scent of the Gizu products. I'm a big fan of that scent, so I would, I'm very happy to have my hair smelling like that. <laughs> oh, this is why I did not want to open stuff, but Okay, fixed. So that's the Gizu hair perfume. It's just not much to say about it, just perfume for your hair. <laughs> and finally, this is one of my, I think this is my number one product from Gizu. This is their hair mask. Um, it is something that really does miracles for my hair. It makes my hair so, so unbelievably soft and it really holds a lot of the moisture of the hair in basically a good moisture lock um, hair mask i would say at least personally i don't know how it's worked for others 
There you go. You get a lot of product in here. It, it, uh, as you can see, I've, I already started using this. Uh, it's not a new product for me, and I, so I know how to use it and how it works for me. I use it like, I use it whenever I wash my hair. So, and I'm also a curly hair girl. So that's a little bit of additional information for all the curly girls out there. This hair mask is really good. You love the smell. That's A. And B, it really works to hold the moisture in. So I'm a big fan of that. So that's pretty much everything that I have in the hair care section. Not too much to say. Uh, I don't really like to experiment with hair care, so I don't try a lot of new products all the time. I wish I was able to get the Gizu conditioner and shampoo, but that's a bit too much to impose on folks traveling all the way from there, so I decided against it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the hair care and fragrance section. Uh, let's move on. All right, so as you can see in the next section, it's all makeup. Uh, so these two are Sephora powder foundations. Uh, they are matte foundations. Uh, this is a, a, a perfect shade match for me. It's so perfect that I decided to buy two pans and the single pan that I've been using and I'm still using that one has come for me for almost, uh, almost two years now. So it's very high coverage and it stays on all day long so i'm a huge fan i'm also all about powder foundations these days because they're just easy to reapply so and i don't really put a lot of other products on my face it's usually just foundation and a bit of concealer underneath that if needed so these two are the sephora matte perfection powder foundation in warm 10 number 42. Uh, again, literally this entire set is from Sephora. Another powder foundation that I wanted to try out, and I've already tried this one, is the Fenty Flawless Filter, what is it called? Pro Filter Foundation. So I did a shade match on the Sephora website for this one, and it shows up a little bit darker on my skin compared to the Sephora one but once again I just use it as contour or you know on the days that you're feeling a little bit more tan use it on those days but yeah this is also so full coverage it doesn't move off the face you don't need to bake it or anything it just doesn't move and also when you open the product the it feels so heavy and nice um, the reason why I keep stressing on that is that packaging really matters to me. I really, I really care about the aesthetic of a brand, uh, how good it feels when you hold it. Um, so yeah, big props to Fenty on that. All right, so the next product is this tiny little blush from Pat McGrath. Let's see if it wants to come out of the packaging, yes. So I've had my eye on this for quite some time. It is Focus, Focus. It's the Mini Divine Blush in Paradise Venus. It's a really pretty color. I'll open up and show it to you. There we go. How pretty. I don't know if I wanna swatch it for you guys. This is how it shows up. Pretty nicely on the skin. Show it to the nice wider part of my skin as well. Very nice. It really blends well. Pat McGrath, I, this is the, is my probably my favorite brand. If, you, if I want to really splurge. Uh, so Pat McGrath and Fendi are my top two brands uh, of makeup. I have a Pat McGrath Mothership palette, which I adore. Uh, I even use it uh, regularly. It's not like an event palette or anything. I reach for it regularly because I feel like when you spend money on something, you might as well use it, right? Uh, I also love her glosses and her single eyeshadows. And I also have the kit to make the glitter lip, which I've tried once or twice. It's just fun. And I think Pat McGrath is a brand that even when you pay money for it, you're not like duped. You know it's gonna be good quality, so. Highly recommend, uh, the, and these are also mini blushes, so they're not as expensive as uh, the full-size product. So, highly recommend this one. 
And this is something that I've been using forever. So I have very thick eyebrows and I don't really like to trim them up too much. So I use a brow definer to just brush things out and uh, fill in wherever needed. I think this product, almost everybody knows. I really hope they've made the packaging a little bit more sturdy because I've noticed that this always breaks off inside of a makeup bag. Oh, this is in the color Focus. Focus. This is in the color Granite. So yeah, Anastasia brow definer. Um, the last full-size product that I actually bought was this Rare Beauty lip oil. I decided to buy it from the US because it is so freaking expensive here, even though Rare Beauty has recently launched in India. Fenty, we're waiting on you. This is in the color Wonder. Is it Wonder? Let me double check that. Yeah, this is in the color... I don't know if it wants to focus. There you go, Wonder. And the one thing I like about Rare Beauty packaging, yeah, I like this thing on top that helps you twist it open. But, but when you, it lets you know that you have closer probably by hearing the... There we go. <laughs> this is a really nice pinky color and also it's a lip oil. So it's like, it tints your lip a little bit, but it's not too heavy feeling. So this is a nice everyday wear. I've yet to start using it regularly, but I really like the color when I swatched it here. So. This is a product that I swatched in stores in Sephora here. And then, um, like at least the color wise. I don't think the lip oils have launched here yet, but I was able to swatch it very close by color to see how it looked on me. And I got it from the US. So that's that. And now let's move on to the two samples. So I did pick out a rare beauty sample. Um, this is for their blushes. So you get a nice little range to try out. And also you get two blushes and two highlighters. I think th these two will look pretty good on my skin tone. So, so will these two highlighters. So I'm very excited to try these out. Nice little samples. And also I picked out uh, with my points or as a sample, uh, the Valentino mascara. Nice little wand if it wants to focus at some point. There we go. So uh, I did wear this for an entire evening and it didn't really move and it's also very difficult to take off. So if you want a really unmoving high-end mascara, I recommend the Valentino Magnificent Ultra Nero Mascara. I think of the high-end mascaras I've tried uh, that I've received as a free sample, Valentino one is pretty good. It's up there. All right. So that's it for the makeup section. It's a bit of a longer section, but we have one last section. Let's move on. All right, so a bit of a different last section. So it's all nails. So this last section is nail polish and press on nails. And let's do both of them separately. So first, let's take a look at all the hollow taco nail polishes I got. Um, I'm wearing this right now. It's the Glossy Taco and the this green color nail polish whose name should not be on the outside, should be on the bottle, on the inside. Let's open it. It is Wicked Potion. It's this nice little green color, it's magnetic. All right, this is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. Very nice, I'm very happy with it. Also. This has another taco, which I'll show you guys next. So these two. Then we have this really nice blue color. It's called Shady Navy. So pretty. I think Hollow Taco and Moon Catch are probably my favorite nail polish brands that I've loved like forever. This is a simple black one. I don't have any black nail polishes with me. So I just got this, it's called One Coat Black. Very nice, just a plain black. I'm very excited to see how top coats show up on them. Oops, oops, oops. All right, so another plain uh, color. This one is a maroon-ish. 
called I'm Over Brew. Very pretty maroon color. I used to watch Simply Neological a lot. And then when she came out with her nail polish, I was very excited. This is called Starry Eye. Like the glitter has stars in it. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. You can see there's a star right there. It's so pretty. I cannot wait to try this on. It's like a greeny. It's green. Mostly green. Green is my favorite color. So that's that. Finally, we have this crazy looking top coat. It's called Everything Taco. It's so pretty looking. I just simply tried it on this nail yesterday, but it's probably not supposed to be put on glitter nail polishes unless you want it to look crazy. But yeah, and then you also get a magnetic wand for the magnetic nail polish. So this is everything that I got from Holo Taco. And I'm very excited to continue on my nail art journeys with all of these. All right, so next we have something that I've been seeing on Instagram forever and I've been wanting to own a set of nails from this brand for a very long time. It's the 3D Press On Nails from Nails Assist. I've been so excited. I haven't even opened this package yet, so let's try and unbox it live. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, it says, are you ready to become a nail assist? I guess I am. Okay, the nice little sticker from them. And a little card. And also instructions on how to use it. Right? That's, oh, I'm so scared. I don't want to rip the paper. Okay. All right, that was relatively easy. Oh, nice big package. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff from them. I got like their nail kit, like how to apply them. I also bought, let me show you something close up. Nail glue, brush on nail glue from them and also this kind of stick on nail glue because I wasn't sure what's gonna work out for me since I'm using press on nails of this quality for the very first time. So I'm very excited to try it at some point. And then I have three sets of nails from them and they're all in size large. This one, I think it's called strawberry milk. If I'm not wrong, so pretty. And the coquette like ribbon stuff is trending now too. So I'm very excited to try these on. So again, this one is size large. Uh, the other, so that strawberry milk was the shortest nail that I bought. This is a little bit longer than that. I think this is called Gothic something. Sorry, the names are like totally escaping right now and they're not like printed here anywhere. So there you go. I have a little Kuromi there. Very cute, another ribbon. And then, yeah. Very excited to try these on. I, these are definitely like special occasion nails. I think this, this one is called Mermaid Dreams, if I'm not sure, if I'm not wrong. Um, these are the longest ones that I bought. And I think this, the fit should be pretty okay, as you can see. So that's why I went for the largest, because I know my nail beds are like really big. So yeah, I am very excited to try these on at some point. I think they look simply fantastic. I think the quality is gonna be there. So, yeah. That is the nail haul. Let's put all this back in. All right, so if you've made this far in the video, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this break from books and K-pop on my channel. If not, leave in the comments. If you did, also leave it in the comments. But I hope you enjoyed this little beauty, makeup, skincare, nail haul. Uh, let me know what products you liked, 
what products you guys have never heard of before. Like leave, leave your favorite nail polish brand in the description below, especially the Indian girlies who are watching this. Please let me know what good nail polish brands we can get in India because I don't want to keep buying from overseas forever. Um, also, let me know if you guys want to know how my journey with the Medi Heal and Medi Peel skincare stuff went. Uh, and uh, leave any questions, comments, all likes and subscribers are always welcome. Uh, do share this with your friends. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.